So it's time for us to take a look at Photoshop Touch on the iPad, which has just been released. Kind of a cut down version of obviously the full desktop experience of, uh, of Photoshop. Just gonna go right ahead here and load in an image. Uh, let's just get a local image from my photo library. Now you can choose images from uh, the cloud, uh, from uh, Facebook, from Google, obviously from the camera as well, from all sorts of stuff. Uh, so let's just load in an image here of a cat. Uh, now once it's loaded in you can see at the top you've got a palette of different effects of um, changing contrast, brightness, different saturation adjustments. Up here you've got effects like uh, blur, uh, sharpen, stylized effects like the multi-gradient maps, photocopies, threshold, graphic pen, all that stuff. Some photo effects as well like grainy, TV monitor, and uh, moonlight. Now one thing that we notice when you're using this it is absolutely blazing fast uh, which is great. Uh, you can do a lot of standard stuff too like cropping, different image sizing, warping the image and all sorts of stuff too. Uh, all of these little toolbars pop away like that and then you can swipe them back out again just as you would do with like the not notification bar. Um, if you're wanting to use the effects it's just a very simple matter of choosing the one that you like and then it will come up with a whole bunch of uh, different options as well. So you can choose the number of colors you want, for example, in your cartoony effects. If I choose uh, something a little bit more standard, like uh, sharpen, obviously you've got the sharpen intensity, so you can really sharpen the image up. And up here, one of my personal favorites is the lighting. And this makes it dead easy to add in different lighting effects. All you've got to do is drag your light around. Then you can drag around the size of the radius of your light as well. So it's pretty clever. Um, it's a nice little bit of kit. You can all do sort of touching off effects. You can add different layers as well, which is very similar to what you'd have on uh, the full version of Photoshop. So it's pretty decent. It's still not right up there with the original version of Photoshop, obviously, but it's uh, a lot better than Photoshop Express and it's not too badly priced either. So that is Photoshop Touch on your iPad.